You may have heard the story published by the Financial Times about Jake Freeman, a college student who turned his $27 million bet on Bad Bath & Beyond into gains of about $110 million. This was done by riding the retail meme stock frenzy, which eventually led to a crushing end once Freeman and insider investor Ryan Cohen sold their massive positions. So why am I bringing this story up? Well, after some digging, it has led to a reveal of possibly Freeman's next big bet. Mind Medicine, Mind Med, which shows the family owns a 5.6% stake in this small biopharmaceutical company and has led to everybody talking about this small cap name. I will be honest with you, as a practicing clinical pharmacist, this name definitely caught my attention a while back because this is a space with so much potential and need for therapeutic benefit. My investor side also tells me there's opportunities for big money to be made here with novel therapies. So, is my meta buy? Let's jump into it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the study. Going to be talking about mind meta, and before we jump into the details, I really need a huge favor. Please tap the like button, it helps me out a ton and it is greatly appreciated. Okay, now on to MindMed. For us to make an investment into any individual company, we need to understand what does this company do and their background and usually on company websites, especially biotechs and pharmaceuticals, um, you can find a PowerPoint presentation, which does a pretty good job of summing up most of the information for you. And then also on the home page too, they have highlights here. They have usually data statistics here of um, what they're focusing on in the company. A whole lot of good information really. And then even their pipeline as well, as you can see for MyMed, which we are going to talk a little bit more later on in the video. But um, the back to that PowerPoint presentation, we would go here to, to downloads, investor presentation. They also have financial data too. So if you want to dig deep into that, feel free to go for it. And what I really like to know about uh, MindMed before I put my money to work here is that I want to find out um, what exactly is the plan moving forward with this small biotech company. Um, and you can do that here by looking at the PowerPoint presentation. And you can see right off the bat, they got a hell lot of experience under their belt with leaders across different biotech uh, companies, large and small here, Roche, Merck, um, Johnson & Johnson, Bristol Myers, uh, some international names on there as well, AstraZeneca, Novartis, the, the list just keeps going on. And here they have a summary as well and the real message here that really hits hard and takes it home is that there is an urgent need for better treatments and i couldn't agree more because when looking at the fundamentals for this company and at this time, the market cap is about 400 million, maybe less, because the stock has been going down. And when we look at the statistics here, one in five U.S. adults have a mental health disorder, which is about 20% of the U.S. population. This is a pretty big deal. When we look at the estimated economic cost of autism spectrum disorder in the U.S. by 2025, it is estimated to be about 461 billion. So that's the cool thing about this company. Not only are they looking at anxiety, they are looking at ADHD and autism spectrum disorder. 461 billion. Think about that figure, right? And we just said about 20% of the U.S. population has some sort of uh, brain health disorder, mental health disorder that needs some sort of remedy. There is a huge discrepancy in pricing for this company between uh, the market cap and 
these conditions that need to be looked at if they were to be able to come up with a therapeutic option and get it approved oh there's a big gap to fill for this company to appreciate in value and you would have a stock price surging for sure so this already has my attention so of course now there are many hurdles uh, obstacles risks to consider when investing into a small cap name like mindmed uh, one of those risks is that psychedelics are classified as schedule one drugs by the drug enforcement agency which means they're seen as having no medical use and having a high potential for abuse in other words, it is very difficult to market or sell in the U.S. Um, that's a pretty rough deal breaker right there for some investors. And and I get it. Um, uh, the other risk here is that you have a company that doesn't have any approved products. Here are the products that they are working on, that they're looking at, drug candidates. Uh, for the next generation of treating these mental health disorders. And um, from my knowledge, they don't have anything available on the market. The furthest advance from their pipeline is MM-120, which is LSD for the indication of generalized anxiety disorder and is currently at the phase two level of the clinical pipeline, which here we go, perfect, we have it right here. This is the one I'm talking about, MM120. You can see that this is the lead candidate. They also have these also in progress, the MM402 investigator initiated trials as well with LSD looking into cluster headaches and major depression. And it will be very interesting to see what data comes out from this and Look, I look forward to phase three if that's in the books because phase three, if anybody's not familiar with how biotechs and um, drug catalysts work in the market and the studies and clinical trials and all that, phase three in summary is a large catalyst for these type of biotech stocks where a larger sample size is included for the study. If it's successful, this can be a big market mover and can bring so much positive change to this enormous clinical need. The company has some great interesting other compounds uh, in the pipeline as well, which is a further boost like we saw before. And such as, an, uh, you know, another treatment um, for ASD, uh, autism spectrum disorder, which could provide enormous upside for um, investors. And so there's a lot of good news here for uh, this company. And they have a lot of great information here about the uh the products that if you guys want to dig in they have this powerpoint available i showed you in the beginning of the video this very interesting stuff that we have going on here and now that we have knocked out the biggest negative issues in my opinion we need to talk about these exciting positives here with the first being that they have ips and protected patents for their novel technologies enormous advantage to have against competitors in the space and could further generate a significant upside for the stock. This means we are looking at somewhere between 10, 20 years of exclusive um, exclusivity uh, for these new products if successfully brought to the market. So MM120, that's the lead candidate. It's been shown to display some powerful headline features as seen from these slides that we're looking at. I will definitely be keeping an eye on this name for a potential phase three trade. And if you keep going through these slides, you'll notice, you know, just great information here about what's going on with the studies. If you want to go into more detail and some of those key highlights to take note, if you're going to be putting your money in this name are, well, you know, they have a very well established group of leaders with plentiful experience in the biotech space that we saw and another important point to know is that uh, the company's fully funded through clinical readouts and into 2024 this is a huge plus and great to know that the company won't be running out of cash anytime soon so that one right there is usually an issue for most companies but 
these guys happen to be in pretty good shape with uh, their their funds so far. And and when we look at how big of the scale is um, MM120, uh, right? It's a pretty big deal. And I quote the CMO, Carlin, who has said the following about the phase two trial. The first large commercially sponsored study of LSD in more than 40 years and expects he expects listen to this the results to lead to big time phase three trial results where both science communities will be looking into this and investors for sure too so what is my take on Mind man, my final take on this stock as I look at this weekly chart, and you can see it's been a penny stock, it's gone up, and just to get a better idea, let's go to the daily chart, and this is where we saw uh, some buying recently from the article in the beginning of the video with the meme stocks and all that, big volume, it's cooled down now, um... And I kind of like it around this range, actually, about 80 cents, 88 cents. Um, I would be looking to buy here and park some money, maybe at 77 cents. Um, and yeah, I would leave my money there as kind of like my speculative bet. Um, but here's the thing, though. Before you make a decision to put any money here, you have to know that one issue I brought up in the video and that is how are they going to figure out to get over the schedule one barrier for marketing the drug and most importantly staying fully funded without burning too much cash remember they have enough money until 2024 so investors do have pretty good odds of seeing their investment grow, especially in the event of positive results from these exciting studies. I strongly believe in seeing the stock price go back up to 150 and possibly $2. Um, the stock in 2021 used to be at a price of fours and it has come a long way down. We do need to be careful with the possible reverse stock split in the case for these shares to stay compliant with NASDAQ listing laws on the market. So that's definitely something to consider as well. Um, but there is opportunity here. You just have to be careful. Make no mistake. This is a very high risk stock. And again, I'm really excited for this medical technology, the pipeline of products. Um, it is a gamble, bottom line, and more than any of the other speculative biotech plays because, again, you have to deal with that Schedule 1 barrier assigned to these products into the pipeline for MindMed. That needs to be addressed for the company to proceed any further. If that can somehow get resolved, this thing is going to fly if it gets positive results and be groundbreaking in the pharmaceutical industry. On that note, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on any new videos. You can follow me at The Trade Study on Instagram for more content, and I'll see you in the next one.